In Port Wainimi, a mother and her young child were struck by gunfire and they may have been targeted. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live at that scene with the latest. Candace? And that little girl is in a coma this morning at Children's Hospital fighting for her life. Meantime, both police and her family want to know who did this and why. Cell phone video captured the tense moments a woman told police she and her daughter had been shot. Port Wainimi police say around 10:15 last night, someone shot into the home multiple times, hitting 7-year-old Kaylana Davis in the head. Her mother, Miriam Davis, who's almost four months pregnant, was also hurt. Investigators don't believe the shooting was random, but think it was the result of a personal dispute. The number of rounds that were fired, um, the shell casings that were located, the people that were firing uh, were firing from a single location and uh, all the rounds hit the intended target, which was the residents. Police say the little girl's father ran with her in his arms all the way down the street to a nearby fire station to try and get help. Splatters of blood stained the outside of Station 53. Firefighters did not respond, and police ended up rushing the little girl to the hospital. We believe that they, they may have been felt that they were threatened or felt that there was still gunfire uh, going on. Um, outside of their actual fire station. Shell casings littered the ground and investigators think there may have been two shooters because of the different caliber casings found. Neighbors say the block is normally quiet and they just can't believe what happened. No, it's not good because they are, we are neighborhood and we never have problems. The Ventura County Fire Department issued this statement, which reads in part, We are deeply saddened by the tragic shooting that occurred overnight in Port Wainimi near our fire station. We are investigating the circumstances surrounding the emergency response and medical services rendered to the mother and daughter following the shooting. Uh, back out here live, a police told us that they do not believe this shooting was gang related and they do have an idea who they're looking for. We're live in Port Wainimi. Candace Crone, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, back to you.